Hey guys, what's up? Lexi1 here. Um, I'm gonna try and play some games, like three or four. Maybe look at it. Well, I guess about three or two. I don't know yet. We'll see how they go. So yeah, this is uh, Spanish. Uri Lopez. Uh, they usually take on. Ah, okay. So this guy knows his theory. So knight c3 is the normal move here. Because I'm threatening queen f5 check. Yep. This is all known. Bishop g5, actually, somewhat only move, I guess. I don't know, queen e2 maybe. But I know the main line is bishop g5. Oh, wait. Yeah, this is also known. One sec. Let me think. Um. I guess I'll have to take probably Queen is 5 um, I guess not actually. I don't seem to remember. I, I, I gave a, a child prodigy somewhat a foul about this for, for white actually. Because he knew uh, I played the, the, this F5 in the Spanish. And he wanted to, to, to know something, to, to get a foul about it. So I gave him this for white, but now I don't remember it myself. So that's quite horrible actually. Um, okay, so he's gonna go F3, I guess? Yeah, probably. G4. So I don't really see the point here. Okay. But I'm just up material now, yeah. I'm of a, uh, a rook against two pawns, but yeah, it's a whole rook, three pawns. So yeah, my 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 king is a bit awkward, but yeah, no problems. This is just to get some air. I know I'm giving it pawn, but... Well, not actually, because... The h5 pawn will always fall. Hopefully. No. Um, yeah. This should be easy, actually. Don't really see point of him trying to play on. But whatever. I can always just drop something or whatever. I'll probably just muck it up now because I said something like that. Whatever. Um, yeah, so I have to watch out a bit. But nothing serious. Let's get this rook involved. This king is also a bit open. Maybe if I just can take here, it's on d6. It should be technically one. Let's just annoy him a bit. I want to trade as much pieces as I can, but yeah. Um, so this guy is really good. Some say he's Morozevich, but I don't know. He's Russian, GM. Very good uh, 3 and 5 minute player as you can see here on the bottom. His best are huge. 2873 is just amazing. So yeah, this guy is so super good. I don't know. What's my score? Let's see, B stat. Yeah, <laughs> I have 2 out of 10. So. I don't think that's that bad actually. I've won one. So. Well, it's definitely not good, but. It's also not horrible. Um. But yeah, this B4 C5 idea is pretty annoying. Uh. Let's see. What's going on here? I'm just gonna. Develop my pieces. 
seems like there should be a problem here, maybe, but I don't see the... Okay, I don't know how to play this. I want to go Queen C2, but maybe E4 then. Because I can't take everything because they're e4 knight takes knight takes bishop takes and bishop takes e2. But e4 bishop b5 is also a possibility, and I don't mind that. So yeah, now he's threatening knight b4. Anyway, let's still do that. This e4 idea isn't gonna work for him. Well, it might be. But... Ah, so now I gave something. Very good of me. I missed this, obviously. Okay, so yeah, this should be lost. Not only am I am I a pawn down, but also my pawns are just all a bit loosey goosey. Bishop b6 probably. I'm gonna try and complicate things, but. I doubt it's gonna work. Um, yeah. If I take there, he takes on c1. I'm down a piece, yeah? But this is also so very bad. So very bad. I could just resign here, actually. Definitely versus this guy, but... I don't wanna... I hate resigning. <laughs> but still, this is so horrible. Yeah, this should be just finished. I'm gonna resign. This is no point. Queen takes c4. Ah, even worse. So yeah, final game, and then we'll look at it. I've played this guy. I oh yeah, Ishimam Dushi. I've played him in real life actually. In Dordrecht. Dutch Open Blitz. The guy was nothing special actually. So I always play this side variation, hoping they take on c6. It's playable, but. Uh, this is the Scotch, as we know. Um, so one of the ideas here is to play before in the, in the, in the future sometime and just plant a knight on c5. Just stand actually. Um, so my pieces are a bit awkward. I want to play knight e4 sometime, but I can't because of the queen here, and I also can't move it because he'll take on f6. Maybe I should go something like that. Because now I'm trying to go queen d6. Point before. Yeah, I don't really know what what the point is there. Is this no, he's never gonna play G4, is he? It should be horrible. If he's gonna let him, it's just weakening his king so badly. Maybe I should even attempt him to do it. I hope he plays c4, it's just... Ah, this is quite a nice move. For him. Um, wait, can't I just take on c3? I think I can. Yeah, I think I can. And then just take on d3 and mop up on. Yeah. Okay, that's no biggie. Free move again. Hmm. So he's gonna play f6 now. Maybe I can just go back and threaten mate. So yeah, I'm threatening mate on h2 obviously. Uh, tick, 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 tick. Yeah, that's fine. Let's 
So I'm up two pawns, but still my pawns are a bit weakish. Anyway, it should be very good for me. Yeah, I'm not gonna take that back. At least not now. Oh, uh, well, I'm gonna take now. I could have took actually because it was a cheapo. Uh, yeah. Let's just defend everything. Wanna get a, try and get a mating net going. Checking on H2 and my other rook on E2. Maybe it was an idea actually. Well, what happens if I take? He goes rook G1, yeah? So if I check. Yeah, I'm winning here obviously, but still not the easiest task. Uh, feels like there should be a mating net. I wanna go here, but maybe 98? No, that's nothing. Uh, yeah. Check. And I want to just consolidate with uh, rookie six, like this. Really like my move here. So yeah, I'm guessing he's gonna take take and play 98, and then I'll go king g8. Whoa, did I miss something? Yeah, I did. No, I didn't. Well, yeah, I missed it, but. Ah, uh, yes, nasty rookie too. Okay. So I'm gonna have to go for this, and it's a draw actually. Jesus. Rook takes e6, only move I guess. King takes h5 and rook a6. Okay. That's not a big deal actually. I should speed up, but, um, yeah, this, sh this is obviously a draw. But I, I don't have a lot of time, so. Push my pawn and just hope for the best. Let's just check a bit and get my rook behind the pawn. Oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, that's a problem when you play slow. Um, yeah, okay, so just let's have a look at the first game first. Um,. So this is, um, yeah, this is the F5, which you've probably seen about a bunch of times in the Spanish. Um, White can go knight c3, d3, or even takes on c6, which is just horrible. And also this d4 idea. Sometimes they take here because they don't know the main line. Actually, this is normal. So. Uh, if you if you look at this position, you you wouldn't think knight c3 is the main move, but the problem is if you go bishop c4 or something, I just have check and take on e5 of material. So this this b sacrifice is normal. This d5 is the normal move. I just want to get get some development going. And if I don't do d5, it's never gonna happen. So this castle short. Yeah, I know this is the main move. Here it goes something like this, and it's equal-ish. Um, my king is just horrible, but I'm I'm a piece up, so yeah. This is the normal. Uh, there is one uh, issue. Uh, so yeah, knight c3 as I played before is the normal move, but bishop d2 you have to know, like I played b4 here. I don't really know why, but I know it's the the, the, the best move here. Probably queen e5. Black's doing more than okay. So, um, castle. Yeah, I think I have to take. Yeah, like I said, I thought 
Queen H5 was to move you. Um, thought something like this. What? Jesus. Take knight f6, bishop. And I thought there was. What was the, what was the thing here? This is bishop e6, but I don't really, really recall that. Uh, well, the main point being, if you take here, I have bishop g7 and the rook is coming. Oh, coming to there. Error. Um, winning the queen. So, check, check. Take on h8. So he has to play bishop h6. And, well, bishop e6 is probably just fine. Yeah. Um, so whenever he played rook, of, rook e1, played bishop e5, um, played that, um, I figured something like that, but I wanted to go check here, and then take on d6, engine even suggests queen takes d6 here, which is probably just better actually, so, okay, also queen f3 is a move, which I hadn't seen. Well, you get the same ideas as in the game. After queen d5, queen d7, we can still play rook takes e4. So. Yeah, I don't think this is just bad for me. It's, uh, I think it's better for me actually, so. Seems like something we had in the game. This g4 just seems very strange. Because this g4 pawn is weak now, could have also gone on castle long. Ah, wow, this is pretty nice. Because now I have rook h. Yeah, I have this. <laughs> and if he goes rook takes e4, I have bishop takes h. h2. <laughs> That's a funny move. Bishop g6 is more than fine. Ah, king f7 isn't. Uh. I had to play this. Why is this so bad? Check. Ah, okay, so now I can't play queen e6 because of queen takes b7. So I'm gonna have to go for a draw here. Wow. Pretty weird. Um. Yeah. Let's see. I played h5 here, yeah. I like my, my h5 here. <sighs> Queen takes. Yeah, I just want to get into an ending. Uh. Okay. Didn't even look at Queen takes f4. It's pretty strange. I missed some, something easy like that. Um. Yeah, you just resigned here. Yeah, not a really good move by either, uh, both of us. So yeah, the c5 after b4 is pretty pretty good actually because he's never gonna lose a uh, he's never gonna lose uh, a pawn. Well, I can take it here obviously, but which I did, but he'll he'll win it back obviously. Because bishop a3 isn't a move, I know e3 is the best move in this position, and d4 is the main idea. I usually play bishop d3 in such positions, but it seems I can just take it, but well, my pawns are just a bit strange here. Anyway, I'm up a pawn now, so maybe it's possible. I tend to go for normal setups just to get some, you know, sane positions. Yeah, f3 seems like a better move than what I did. I played h3, yeah? yeah. Uh, queen c2, yeah, it's a bit loosey. Uh, I don't think it's a bad move actually. Maybe knight g3 here, knight b4, and it's just queen b1. Takes, takes. Well, 
Yeah, this is better for him. But this just loses something. I just missed this. This pin. Ah, uh, 94 is the move then. Yeah, oh, by the way, this E4, I can take because of... Oh, well, just Fruit 64. <laughs> um, yeah, so I wanted to go Bishop B5 here. This is actually fine. Because now I have squares for my knight. Yeah. Okay, so this is just bad. You can even take here. Oh, I can even take here. Take here. And just take there. Which is even better. Oh, I thought he just. Yeah, okay. He did that. <laughs> uh, takes, takes. We should be six. Yeah. And she wants to go bishop f5 here and claim some compensation maybe, but I don't really believe in it. It should have been what I did. Because now I, I keep the two bishops and there are some weaknesses on f6 and h7. The bishop coming over there would have been better. So c4. I takes, H takes. Yeah. Just a hopeless position. Down so much pawns. And so, final game. I don't really want to look at the end of it, but we'll have a look at the beginning. Uh, yeah, this is a normal scotch. Um, there are some. Yeah, the normal move order is like this, and then I play knight f6, so... Uh, and then white has a choice between taking on c6 or either, uh, or, or knight c3, which transposes to the game. This is the same position. So, bishop b4 is the main move. You can also go bishop c5. Um, yeah. Takes is normal, takes, this is all normal. D5 is the main move here. Takes, and I just causal here. Which is a somewhat of a tricky sideline because it gives white more options, but as he can take in on C6 now, but you have major compensation after Bishop G4. So F3 is bad, I think. Uh, yeah. I don't really remember how, but uh, I know, well, I, I thought something like this was fine. Because you're gonna win back c6 eventually, and the king is just a bit open on f1. And it has to take some time, and this f3 pawn is, uh, it just gives me a lot of uh, black squares around the king for this bishop. Um, so taking is tricky, it's possible for, probably, but this is bad. Yeah, Queen 7 I've had this somewhere. Yeah, now Rook D8, Bishop D2, Rook E8 takes, and I think, yeah, 94 or something. Oh, so yeah, 94. Yeah, I've had this once. <laughs> he resigned here. So, uh, either way, castle. And now we're back in the normal, normal games after this, this, this. This is the main, main move order. Uh, bishop g5 is normal. This isn't the main move. The, the, the old main line was queen f3 here. And then I play bishop e7, sometimes to d6. And there is this tricky line. If you, you, you want to play a6, obviously, but if you play a6 now, that can just take and queen e3. Just yeah, this is just bad. This rook is coming somewhere. I don't know. Uh, 
why this better? As you can see by the computer evaluation of 1.7, I thought. So. Uh, yeah, these are normal moves. Uh, sometimes it goes to this bishop goes to e7 or even h uh, f8. Um, yeah, I wanted to go to d6. I don't really know why, but just feels natural not to play to e7 because I just played rook e8 and uh, yeah it's a bit strange to, uh, to, to to just close your rook line I didn't really know what to do here the engine wants to go rook e6 it just seems very strange now bishop d7 yeah, now bishop e6. It just doesn't know how to handle this position. I like my bishop c7 actually. Uh, I was thinking about knight c6 because if you play queen d6, yeah, white has bishop g3, but uh, there's a problem maybe with taking there. No, it's no problem. So, yeah, the point being, this is fine. But. The engine just wants to play around it with a5, which seems fine actually. Yeah, I like my game actually, but as you can see, I'm totally winning. Minus two, minus 1.7. A5, man. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck. Forward. 45. Um. Rook A2. Yeah, this seems winning actually. Well, this is over also. But I could have just took. Because Rook G1, Rook H2. Should have done that. Either way, I'm still winning. Yeah, I thought he should could, should have gone there. But I would have gone check and just take and win the rook ending, I guess. <laughs> Let's see. How's this way? Maybe I should have shouldn't have gone to f1 check f2 bishop d4 and it's quite annoying. Okay, well, yeah, I should have played rook f4. Seems like the more normal move. So I checked. I checked again. Oh, I can just play knight takes h5 then. Yeah, I missed this, this whole idea of just forking everything. Didn't have a lot of time here, but... Did I have something? Oh, I just had King takes f6. How did I miss that? I was only looking at Rook takes f6, but just obviously Rook takes c5 and over. Wow. Yeah, I thought he should have gone there. A3 probably. Oh wow. It's hmm. actually an idea. Um Yeah, I shouldn't lose this, obviously. I should play rook a6 here, yeah. I thought so during the game. I didn't say it out loud I guess, but Felt like I should have just. Oh, he's not gonna play b5 here. Now just run. Ah, okay, so he can never just catch it, and this is obviously losing. It's way too slow. Oh! <laughs> it's pretty annoying. Now he has opposition, okay. Um. Yeah, so I should play this. Point being, this loses because 
I can just queen. And I can get a position here. So yeah, easy win. Yeah, this is just horrible. And checking is also horrible. Because the rook has to go behind the, the king and the pawn in the future. So I should just get a move on here. And now I should watch out for rook g8, obviously. So, f5. Yeah. I wanted to get behind to give rook again, dig the king again. But, yeah, that's obviously horrible. Just a four even. Sure, just in time here. It's fun to see that even if you're, uh, if you don't queen here, which you can, and it's immediately drawn. But if you go like this, well, I still can't win because um, check and you just go into the corner because you can never capture the pawn. So he can come close. And now you have to choose, because if you go to f1, uh, well, obviously the king is going to come closer, as you can show. Uh, yeah, and this is the mate. But, um, yeah, you just have king h1, and if he takes it, it's still mate. So. Fun thing to show for the less experienced uh, viewers. So yeah, that was that. Um, one good game, one reasonably good game, but just horrible ending, and uh, yeah, one bad game versus Morozevic probably. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm tired. Um, bye bye now.